In this video, I'm going to show you the Photo Background Remover app. It is designed to remove and replace the backgrounds in your photos and images. The app runs completely on your Windows 11 computer, laptop or graphics tablet, and it does not require any connection to the internet. So you don't need to send your images to a remote website, and you don't have to buy usage credits or pay for costly ongoing subscriptions. The Photo Background Remover app has a one-time low price and it then gives you unlimited use to remove and replace as many backgrounds as you need forever. The app is easy to learn and easy to use and it works equally well on people and animals and everyday objects. You can use it manually or set it running automatically. You can even integrate it into any of your image processing workflows. So let's take a look at it, let's see how it works and how you can get hold of it. So let's start by looking at how you use the app manually. Now after you've downloaded and installed the app, you get this icon on your desktop, the photo background remover. So double click and that will show you the main panel. Before you can start using the app, you will be asked to perform a simple one-time check of Microsoft Paint, which is pre-installed in Windows 11. After completing the check, the app will be permanently set up to automatically control Paint in order to enable all the background features that I will now demonstrate. You can remove a background, you can remove a number of backgrounds, or you can go into watch mode. We're going to look at remove background first. So the first thing to do is to choose a file. Now by default, you get a number of example images that are installed with the app. Let's choose one. Let's try this one. Click open. The app will now remove the background and replace it with a blank background like this. Now you can check the original here and the result there. You can also click to compare and you can drag this icon across. So that's the default setup of removing the background. If you want to replace the background with another image, down here you can select what you want to replace. So we can have transparent background, a color or an image. Let's go for image. Now by default it's set up to use uh, an initial image which is this beach image here so I'm going to pick city and let's replace again using the same image as before and this time it's going to put the cityscape behind it so you may be thinking where has the app put the output image well, if you look here, we can have an output folder. And by default, that is a subfolder in your pictures library. So let's just open this up by having a look at it. And as you can see, it's created the output image in this folder. Let's try again with a different image and a different background this time. I'll go for this valley background. Let's choose a different image. Let's try this one. I'm now going to show you how you can use the app to replace a folder full of images. So what you have to do is make sure you've got a folder with images in them on your computer. And here I've got a folder called images and I've put some photos in here. So the way to do this is to click this button here, which is to choose a folder of images. Now notice I've set up to have a background beach. The app will replace all of the backgrounds of all the photos in the folder with the beach. So let's choose the folder. Images select the folder works on each image one after another 
So this is the first one. And they're on the beach. You can now move on to the next one. The car. And you can then go on to the third one. And as you can see, all three of them have been replaced. If I come back here and look in the output folder again, you can see that the background app is outputting all of the completed photos into the chosen output folder. The next feature to look at is watch mode. Now with watch mode, what happens is that the app will automatically look at a folder and it will wait for photos or images to appear in that folder. And as soon as files appear in the folder, the app will automatically process them and add the background according to the settings that you've specified here. So the app is currently watching this folder, which is in my pictures. And here it is, and it's currently empty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pictures from this folder and drop them into this folder. And then you can see how the process works. So the first thing to do is to start watch mode by clicking this button. Now the app is in full screen mode and it's watching and waiting for files to appear in the folders. Let me bring the folders back to the front. So here's the watch folder and here's my pictures library. So I've got these two images here. I'm just going to copy them. And in here, I'm going to paste them in. So I'm pasting a copy of these two images into this folder and watch what happens. The app is automatically processing both the images one after another. And when it's finished, it goes back into watch mode. Now let me just close the app down here so we've stopped watch mode now let's have a look at the output folder and see what's happened and as you can see the two images have been processed the green color background has been added and they've been placed in the output folder now one setting you might find useful is to hide the watch mode while it's waiting for files to appear and the way to do that is to go into settings and tick this option hide until busy so i'm going to start watch mode again and notice this time that there is no full screen so i'm going to take these images i'm going to copy them and i'm going to paste them into this folder and watch what happens again the photo background remover app comes to the front it processes both images and when it's finished it will hide the window again ready for the next images to be added into the watch folder. And one other option you might find useful is to delete the images from the watch folder after they have been processed. So let's have a look at how that works. Again, I'm going to delete these images here. Now let's go into watch mode again, so it's hidden. I'm going to take these images, copy them and paste them into here. Again, the app comes to the front, it processes both images one after another. When it's finished, notice that the watch folder is empty. So the files have been removed from the watch folder and they are now in the output folder. One other point to make about watch folder mode is that it can watch temporary folders. So for instance, you can set it to watch a folder on an external hard disk or on a network drive or a USB data stick or SD card, for example. The idea there is that you can put the app into watch mode and it will stay watching until you plug in one of those devices. And then as soon as you plug an external device into the computer, watch mode will kick in and will automatically start processing any photos and images that it finds in the folder on the external drive. One more feature that I'd like to mention in this video is how you can pass command line parameters to the photo background remover app so that it can automatically process images. Now those commands can come from 
a batch file or it can come from another application that can send commands to the photo background remover app. So what I've got here is this input image and it's in this folder images and I want to get this process by the app and sent into this output folder which is also on drive C. So I've started a command window and I'm going to type in the path to the executable which is in C colon backslash program files space x86 backslash pbr backslash pbr.exe so this is the full path to the executable file now because there are spaces in this path I need to put this in double quotes so I'll put a quote there and the quote here now if I was just to launch that now watch what happens it runs the app now I don't want to do that what I want to do is to put some command line parameters on the end of this so the first parameter is minus i that stands for input file or input folder in this example i'm going to use input file so i need a path to the file that i want to process c colon backslash images backslash nigel.jpg so that's this image then a space then minus o and that represents an output file or a folder so I have to put either a file name or a folder here so I'm just going to put the folder name c colon backslash output now all I have to do is press the enter key and this will cause the photo background remover app to open process my image and send it to the output folder so watch what happens And there you can see the output now the background that it's chosen is actually coming from the program itself and that's here as you can see it's automatically set to put this Cumbria JPEG image in let's just try this again let's just make it transparent this time I'm going to exit the app and I'm going to rerun this command so here we go again again it loads in the image processes it and this time we'll get a transparent background on the output file and as you can see that's worked here you can also specify your own background file if you wish and that uses the minus b parameter and you can simply type in the path and file name of a file you want to use as the background so I hope you can see that this function is very powerful. It lets you programmatically control the photo background remover from other applications and other processes running on the computer. There's one last thing to mention in this video, and that is where can you get the photo background remover app? Well, simply head over to www.rightbooth.com forward slash PBR, and there you'll find all the information you need. You can download and try the app to see if it works for you and if you decide it's what you need you can then purchase a product code to allow you to use it without any further limitations i hope you find the photo background replacer app useful and thanks for watching